Hi, and welcome to Beginner Ballet Body, which utilizes slow controlled movements so you can get into your muscles and feel strong and beautiful. This is a part of the Ballet Body Flow series, which you can sign up below with the link in the description box so that you can download your challenge guide and join the community. Okay, let's get started. Let's begin in a second position, legs out wide, feet diagonal, and we're gonna take a nice big plie and back up. Beautiful, reach and up. We're gonna start with a nice warm up here, stretching, warming up our legs, reach and in. Just getting into our bodies, allowing ourselves to really just connect inward, let everything outside of you, outside of the mat, just kind of fall away and be present here with your body. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little forward fold here. So we're gonna bend forward here just like this and then add a plie, good. And then reach forward and up. So nice stretch behind the legs. Moving nice and gracefully through the arms. Beautiful, nice movements. Feeling strong and beautiful in your body. Good, four more just like this. Four and stretch and three and stretch and two and last one and stretch nice now hold it here now take the hands all the way down to the floor and bend the knees and straighten the legs try to keep the hands on the floor or as low as you can go bend the knees and straighten bend the knees and straighten good now we're going to place the left hand on the ground reach the right arm up towards the sky and down, switch to the other side. Nice twist along the spine. Feels really good. Up and lower and up and lower. Two more times, just like that. Doesn't that feel amazing? Ah, feels so good. Up and lower, good. Now slowly roll yourself all the way up. Now bring those legs in closer and we're gonna do a little plie and we're gonna add a releve this time. Releve means that you come up onto the balls of your toes and you squeeze your booty nice and tight. Okay, you're gonna squeeze the inner thighs together as well. Belly button is in. Little plie and releve. Plie, releve. Good, so this is a lot of balance work. Strengthen the ankles, strengthen the toes. And so whenever we did our ballet training, we talked about our toes rooting into the floor, really spreading out the toes. Imagine like they're tree roots and each toe is anchoring into the floor. So I want you to imagine your toes like strong little tree roots, okay? Good, eight and seven, good, six, and five, squeeze everything as you straighten the legs. Squeeze the booty, inner thighs, core, tall, nice, strong posture. Good, now we're gonna add a little plie. This time we're gonna add a side, reach over to the side. Plie, side, reach. Good, and that hand can just come onto the waist here. And reach, beautiful, plie, reach, plie and reach, feel that nice side stretch. Oh, feels so good. We've got an amazing workout here for you. Lots of good legs, core, arm toning and sculpting and strengthening. So whether you're just getting back into working out or you're trying a bar class for the very first time, I'm excited for you because I've got a good workout plan for you. All right, now take those legs out nice and wide. Last stretch here, all the way over to the side, and we're gonna take a big circle all the way down and around. Ah, feels so good, right? Reach, hold on to that core here. You've gotta really stabilize yourself through that core. One more time, each way. Really reach through the fingertips. Imagine your body is longer than it actually is. So I'm only 5'2", and so I spent my whole dance and ballet career trying to make myself longer, right? I think it paid off too, because I got nice, stretchy, strong muscles. Okay, so now let's move on to the floor. We're gonna go into some core work here. So we're gonna start back into a child's pose, and then you're gonna lift all the way up into a high plank. 
just like that, okay? Fingers spread out wide, shoulders over the hands. Here we go. Lift it up for eight and back. Seven and six. Five, you can even feel those legs a little bit. Keep those arms super duper straight and strong. Biceps forward, triceps back. Engage the quads every time you come into that high plank pose. Good, now we're gonna hold the high plank, hold it right here, tap the knees down and lift right here. Eight times, eight, up, seven, up, six, and five, four, three, and two, and one. Beautiful. Now we're gonna come back into a high plank pose. We're gonna cross the left leg over the right. So we're in a nice, strong little cross position. Make sure hands are underneath shoulders. Pull the abs in. Straight, strong legs. And you're gonna pull the left knee up to the left tricep. Squeeze the legs back together eight times. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Good, and now if you need a modification, I would just put the knee down and do the same thing, okay? Four, three, two, and one. Great job, let's switch right over to the other side. Here we go, take a break if you need it. Eight, seven, you can put those knees down at any time. Six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Great job. Now we're gonna lower down onto our elbows, come into a forearm plank, squeeze the legs together, and join me now here. Good, forearm plank. Now if you'd like to add on, you can just pull the knee in, the foot in towards the butt, and we're gonna just do little presses up towards the sky. Eight times, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, place everything down. Come back into a child's pose. Take a deep breath in. Inhale in, exhale out. Good, now we're gonna reach all the way forward. This time we're gonna go into a push-up. So elbows are gonna squeeze in towards the ribs. Good, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then press up back into a child's pose. So I love this to really strengthen the upper body. Also work those triceps a lot and posture. Good, six more. Here we go. Six and back. Five and back. Four. Three. Just two more. Two and back. Last one. We're gonna hold here little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, so we're gonna move on to some legs right now. So we're gonna start in a in all fours here. So hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, and we're gonna start by lifting up to the side, just like that in a hydrant. Okay, so let's begin. Eight and seven and six. You wanna really focus on your form here, making sure that you're not moving every which way, right? You use your core, use your arms to stay really solid in the upper body. Two and one. Good, now we're gonna tap the knee down, lift it behind us, tap and lift. Good, six and five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now we're gonna cross this knee behind so that the knee taps the calf and we're gonna squeeze it all the way up to the side like that, like a side hydrant. So tap the, um, tap the calf and then back. Good, now if this is getting too much for you on the hands, we can just go ahead and come down onto our elbow. So let's go ahead and do that. Eight and side, seven and six, five, 
good. Four. I love these ones because it really gets deep into your glutes. And one. Good, now we're gonna hold here and we're gonna open up the knee. So notice how my knee is facing outward. And then I draw the knee down and touch the calf, same position as before. And I lift and open up the knee eight times like that. And eight, seven, because many times when we're doing squats and different things like that, the thighs really take over. So this is just a guarantee glute workout, right? So they're super active. Engage, hamstrings working as well. And one, nice job. Now come back up onto the hands and we're gonna reach forward, opposite arm to hand. Bring the elbow knee together, really push the floor away. So notice how I'm doming in the upper back and I'm creating space for that knee. Here we go. And I want you to give that long extension in the back. Okay, so think of lifting up slightly when you extend out. Here we go, eight and seven, out, up, six, out and up, five, four, three, two, one, and reach, nice. Now, if you wanna take it up a notch, you can either do that whole thing again without the weight, or I'm gonna add a weight to give that extra oomph, okay? So as you repeat this video and over and over again, you can come back and add the weight, right? Even to the first set if you'd like as well. Here we go, now we're gonna add the weight. You gotta squeeze it. I love the weight there because it adds obviously weight, tension, resistance, and it really makes you use your hamstring because you've gotta squeeze it. If the weight falls out, you know you're not squeezing, okay? It's a good feedback right away to let you know what's working, what's not working. Three, good, two, and one. Now we're gonna donkey kick up and tap. So you gotta really squeeze the weight. Again, you get deep into those hamstring muscles. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the elbow down, tap the calf. Here we go, up and tap. So this one you've gotta really squeeze I remember I used to do this one in my group classes, my live classes, and you'd hear weights drop everywhere. That's okay, you gotta just kinda practice. Make sure that you're squeezing the weight a lot, using your arms, your upper body. Good, three, and two, and one. Here we go, we're gonna tap, open up. You gotta really squeeze, lift, tap, and lift. And remember, this is an option. You can do two sets without the weight. And then of course, just add the weight as you get stronger and stronger. Because I know you will, because you're coming to my classes and getting stronger. It's every workout that we do together. Four and three. Good. Two and one. Nice job. All right, take the weight out. We've got our last move. This time we're going to put the weight in our left hand. Extend long. Pull it in. Remember, dome the upper back. Here we go for eight. In, seven, six, five. So out and up. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, shake that out a bit. We are going to do a little ab circuit here before we go on to the other side. Okay, so let's come on to our booties here. And we're gonna come into a C curve. So just sit up nice and tall, pull the belly button in, lift up to the crown of the head, slowly roll down, good. And we're just gonna lift up just like that. So roll about halfway down and lift. You wanna roll all the way to where you feel like you're shaking and you can't go anymore. Right there, good. Lower and lift. Lower and lift, great job. This one's really good for that deep, deep core muscles. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Let's hold it back now, hold. We're gonna reach the arms up overhead, frame the face 
and then tap the knees. Good, for eight and seven. This is a really good one to get deep into those lower core muscles. You probably are shaking like I am. Five, really press down into the lower belly. Four and three and two and one. Really nice. Now we're gonna tap the toe, come back to that C curve. Tap the other toe, back to the C curve. Beautiful. So I'm moving really slow and controlled within my body. This is really how you actually discover your muscles, is moving slowly. Right, when you're moving really fast, it's almost too fast to really get into those deep, tiny, intrinsic muscles. Usually uses you know, larger muscle groups, but this moving slow, you get deep into those low ab muscles. Probably discover new ones along the way. Good, four more like this. Four and three and whew, two and one. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna stay up right here like this, lower slightly down again, and we're gonna do nice big circles all the way around. And circle, feeling those obliques working like crazy. Now I'm up on the tops of my toes, pointing my toes, barely putting any weight there, keeping my knees together. Probably gonna feel those inner thighs work, those hip flexors work. Whew. Eight more like this, here we go. Eight, make sure you're breathing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold right here, I know you can do it. We can do it, we're gonna do one more set of tapping the toes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then we're gonna do one more set of eight of the circles. Here we go, eight, and seven, Whew. Six, I know you're feeling this. You're doing so good. Five, four, three, and two, and one. Oh my goodness. Let's take a little stretch right here. Inhale in, reach the arms up, exhale. Nice forward fold over the legs. And just take a nice big deep breath in. allow the body to relax. Enjoy all the sensations happening right now. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the left side of our leg. Whew, core is nice and tight now for sure. Okay, and if you need to have a little padding, what I do is I just, I just kind of fold it back like that. And then you got your nice little padding there for your knees. Okay, here we go. And eight, seven, Six. So the next time you come back to this video, I want you to try to do the weight, obviously, and then try to do the weight for both sets. See if you can build your way up to that, okay? Good, now we're gonna tap it up. Here we go, eight and seven. So it feels really good to have just done the core work, right? So it'll help remind you to not dip down, right? Keep the core nice and tight. Three and two. And one, good, now we're gonna tap the knee to the calf and bring it all the way side. Good, for eight and seven, six. Think about your posture, five, so shoulders are square. Four, bringing the knee all the way up to your shoulder. Three and two and one. Good, now we're gonna tap down, lift up into your attitude, tap and lift. So the attitude is when the knee is facing outwards. Good, six and five, four, keeping the shoulders square forward, three, so you're externally rotating in the hip, two and one. Good, now come all the way back up onto your hands. And we're gonna do our tiger curl here. Pull it in knee to elbow and extend. Eight, pull it in, extend as long as you can. Seven, six, five, four, 
three and two and one. Beautiful. Okay, it's time for the weight. Here we go. And let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, donkey kick it up. Here we go for eight and seven, six. Hold on to that core. Remember how it felt engaged and tight after those exercises. Keep that feeling going. Three and two and one. Really squeeze that weight lower down onto the right elbow. Here we go. Tap the calf and pull it in for eight and seven, six, five. I know you're feeling the burn. So am I, especially on this second side. Four, three, and two, and one. Good, now we've got our attitude lifts. But like I said, I just love these because it really gets into the hamstring. For me, I have a hard time activating the hamstrings and the deep glute muscles. And when I'm just doing squats, I don't feel it. So when I work this way, it lifts, it activates, gets right in there. Two and one. Beautiful, come on up. Put the weight in the right hand. And then we're gonna sweep in and up, in and up for eight, seven, six. So think out and up, five, four, three, and two, one, and in. Good job. All right, how are you feeling? Doing okay? All right, so we're gonna keep going. We've got a little bit more left of class. So we're gonna stand up. We're gonna do a little bit of weights here with our arms, just to break it up a bit with the legs. So taking the arms here, just like this, just do bicep curls right here. Good, and lift and lift because we've got another leg set to go. And I just want to make sure we have a little break in between. Good, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, take the hands here. We're gonna lift up, do a little cross, and reach it back. Cross and back. I know, it takes a little bit of coordination here. Good, four, good, and five, reach, six, also gets the heart rate up, seven, reach, and eight, and reach, hold it here, and lift, and lift, and lift, nice job, so make sure that that back is nice and flat, so you're reaching long through the spine, and reach, and reach, squeeze those shoulder blades together, Lengthen out, bend the knees slightly as you do this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we got the other side. Here we go. Eight, and reach. Seven, and reach. Six, and reach. Opposite knee. Good. And four. Whew. Three, and two, and one. Good. Now we're gonna reach over to the side, little plie in between. Plie, and reach. Plie, and reach. Good job. So feel those uh, core muscles, obliques working, as well as the arms and legs. So it's really full body right here. Getting that heart rate up with no jumping, right? Pretty amazing. And eight, up, seven, up, six, and five, good, four, and three, and two, 
and one, and all right. Put those weights down. Whew, I can't believe how much my heart rate goes up with that. We're gonna move into some legs as promised. So we're gonna come to the bar and we're gonna do a nice little lunge back. So make sure that the bar, the hand is in front of you. Okay, you never want it to be behind like that. It's just resting. <clears throat> and then we're gonna take a nice little lunge back and step it up. That's it. Just like that. Eight and up. Seven and six. Hold onto that core. Five. And really gently lower down. Four. So total control here. Three and two and one. We're gonna hold this lunge right here. Little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it here. You're gonna lift the, 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 the knee, uh, the heel up. Here we go, eight and seven. Stay low, six and five. Good, four and three, Woo. two and one. Hold it right here, little pulses for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Definitely feel that. Okay, now we're gonna do that on the other side here. And let's go for eight and up. Seven. So make sure you're making a 90 degree angle with your front knee and your back knee. Five. And I'm just staying nice and tall and long through my upper body. Make sure you're not kind of dropping down into your leg. Three and two and one. We're gonna hold it right here for eight, seven, six, five. Get low, four, three, two. Hold it right here. You're just gonna lift that heel up, lower it down. Eight, whew, seven. Six, I know you're feeling this. Five, four, and three, and two, and one. Hold right here. You can do it. Little pulses for eight, Woo. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up. Oh my gosh. Shake it out. Shake it out. Good job. Good job. Okay, so we're gonna do a few releves here. All right, so we're gonna take the hand here and we're gonna just do releve, what's called, up onto the toes. And then we're gonna go into a passe. So that means toe comes up to your knee and my other knee is out. So you gotta squeeze the glutes to get that external rotation. Now, if this is too high for you, just take it to your ankle, your calf. It doesn't have to be all the way up, okay? So take it to your level. Here we go, up and lift, up and lift, up, and lift, up, and lift. Four more, four, up, three, up, two, up, one, and up. Now let's see if we can lift all the way up into a passe releve. Okay, so you're gonna lift and lower with straight legs. Eight, seven, six, five, Four really gets the back of those legs. Three and two and one. Whew, that's a good calf burner right there. Okay, I know you guys love my calf workouts. This is how, how we do it. Here we go. Eight and up. Seven, up. Six and five, four, three, and two, one. All right, we're putting it all together now. Lift up and lower. Use that bar, you can push down a little bit, but keep the side lifted, this right side. Good, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Okay, so now we're gonna go into our last little bit of class here. We're gonna do leg lifts. Well, I want you to be 
really long, okay? So your hands are gonna be on top of the bar, but you're gonna go as flat as possible. So you're gonna extend. We're gonna go into our last little bit of class. So hands are gonna come on the bar and you're gonna scooch all the way back. So you're in a 90 degree angle here. Hips are, are right over your heels, okay? Give a little soft bend in the knees, extend the leg back, and we're gonna kick up and lower down. Here we go. Make sure your arms are really long, all right? Don't round up, don't sink down. <laughs> right in the middle. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Really press down through both hands. Three, two, little pulses up right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And again, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, arms are straight, three, two, one, little pulses right here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last set, you've got this, eight, I know it's tempting to bend the elbows, but don't bend the elbows, keep them straight, use your core, use all these muscles that we've been working the entire class, four, three, two, and one, hold it there, little pulses. This is it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up, shake it out. Let's move on to the other leg. This is it, and I want you to really think about getting super long in that position. Use your core, stretch your shoulders. Let's go, all right, and eight. You are so strong, seven. I just want you to feel Strong and beautiful in your body. Four, three, two, and one. Lift it up, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, keep those hips square to the floor. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, eight. Seven, point the toe, straighten behind the knee. Four, three, two, one. This is our last set. Here we go. Eight and seven, six, five, four, and three, and two, and one. Little pulses. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And <laughs> come on up. Beautiful, beautiful work, my beautiful ballerina. To make sure that you cool down, stretch out, amazing work. Great job in showing up for yourself today. And if you enjoyed today's class, then subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, because it really helps me out so that I can keep creating amazing workouts and challenges just like this for you. And if you're ready to take your fitness to the next level and want to be a part of an amazing community that keeps you accountable and motivated, then download my Stretchy Fit app because it has my absolute best bar and yoga programs. It's available in any app store. So check it out for free and I will see you in the next video. Bye.